Welcome to Certsy. In this video, I'll show you how to turn on the Usage Rights tool in Google Image Search so that you can see photo licenses. Okay, here's what you need to know. The first is that the reason I'm talking about this is because the photo licenses will tell us what we're legally allowed to do with images, illustrations, icons, different things that you might be finding on Google when you're searching for images. And so finding the license will tell you what you're legally allowed to do with that image. The second is that this feature is available on other search engines like Bing. So if you're using something other than Google, do check out whether or not this feature is available on your preferred search engine. Uh, the third is that um, if you do find a photo that is listed as Creative Commons, usually you can use it as long as you follow use and attribution restrictions. So we have another video in this series on copyright, Creative Commons, and public domain. So if you're not familiar with those terms, that video is linked down below and I recommend you actually stop and watch that one before you continue here because this video will make a lot more sense if you watch that one first. The last is that if you do find a photo on Google image search that's listed under the commercial setting, normally you can also find it on a stock site as well and then you can go ahead and buy it to use. Okay, let me show you how this works. So I'm just at google.com and you can use the image search that's up here in the corner, but it's pretty easy to get, you know, get here right from the search bar. So I'm gonna type in something that I see in my field, um, toddler and car seat. And then once we're here, we're gonna go ahead and select that images tab to pull up all of the images for toddler and car seat. And so you can see we've got a wide range of everything from just the seat to kids buckled into those seats. And when you click on these photos, you can see over here that it says images may be subject to copyright. And clicking on this one, you know, it says the same thing. So this indicates to us that these images are protected in some way. And so we need to figure out how they're protected so we know how to use them legally. And this is where the usage rights tool comes in. So if you go up here where it says tools and click there, this menu pops up and you can see right here, it says usage rights. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And so you can see there's other options for Creative Commons or commercial other licenses. Um, but we're going to start here with Creative Commons because normally those images are free to use for presentations, flyers, those types of things. OK, so let's start right here. Here is a photo on Flickr, which is a common source for Creative Commons photos. So if you click here, you can see some of the information. You can see the creator is actually Graco, which is a commercial company. Um, and so let's check this out to see what the license restrictions are. So if we click on this, we can see it is a Creative Commons license and we can probably use it. So let's go back though to the original photo and check out that license information in more detail. Uh, let's go find it on Flickr. And so here, it's, here it is on Flickr. And as you can see, again, here's that Creative Commons license. If you click on this license, you can see exactly what the restrictions are. So for this one, it's CC by NCND, which means it's Creative Commons. And by or BY means that you must provide attribution. NC stands for non-commercial, meaning you can't sell it or use it for the commercial purposes. And then ND stands for no derivatives, which means you, you can't change the image. So if you're going to use it, you have to use it in its original form. And if you have questions on how to evaluate photos or provide attribution, we do have videos on those as well that I'll link down in the description box. So check those out. OK, if we go back to our search page, let's check the license of another photo. All right. So this one looks promising. So let's click here to see what the license is. And it's another Creative Commons but it doesn't have that NC in there or non-commercial restriction. So as long as you provide attribution and don't change the photo, you can use it. Um, okay, back to our search. Let's see what this one says. And oop, nothing comes up. So it's probably easier to use a different one. Let's head down to this one because it also says that it's a public domain right here. And we know that public domain is always free to use. So here's the photo and it is listed as public domain. So you could go ahead and download this photo and use it in your presentation or flyer or whatever you need it for. Um, and so if you do find something that's listed as CC0, 
that is Creative Commons Zero, that's similar to public domain. And so you can use those photos without attribution and use restriction as well. Okay, so let's go back to the top and I will show you how to sort photos that are under a commercial license, which again, often means you can go and buy them from stock sites. And so if you have a little bit of funding, you can just go ahead and purchase those photos. Okay, so I'm gonna click here where it says Creative Commons and that menu will pop up again and let's select commercial. And you'll get a different set of images that are usually copyrighted or protected in some way. And so we really do need to make sure that we're using these images appropriately. Okay, so if we scroll through, we can see from the names that a lot of these are from either commercial companies or places like magazines and thus are probably not available to us to use legally. But here's one that looks promising. Uh, it's from Shutterstock and Shutterstock is obviously a stock site. So I know we can buy it if it's a good photo that meets our needs. And then clicking here, you'll go straight to Shutterstock and you can see our image right here at the top and clicking on it will show you the cost of the image. And so if you decide you want it, you know, you can go ahead and buy it right from here. Okay, so the next time you head to Google to find images for a presentation or social media or for a flyer, you can use this tool to sort those images to make sure that you're using them in the right way. And so once again, uh, uh, check out some of the other videos that I've linked down in the description box that might you might find helpful. And of course, feel free to leave us a comment if there's something that you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching. Looking for more HealthCom content? Check out all of our trainings and resources at CIRTC.org.